Okay, here we are in number seven, and I'm going to immediately center in on what is my question looking for. It wants to know what's the rate of change, rate of change. Every time you see rate of change, you should think that's slope. And slope is awesome because we know what slope is. Slope is always rise over run. You don't have to memorize it. You already know it's rise over run. Rise on my graph, look, there's the words right there. It's temperature. Rise, because that goes up and down. That's temperature over altitude, which is a distance in kilometers. So, and they have kilometers over here. My answer is so I'm right kilometers. Temperature per kilometer. And rise over run, I just need to find a couple of places here on my chart where I can calculate my rise over run. So let's see, this point right here and this point right there look pretty close to the corners. So now you just have to be careful because I do, it's not too going down. It's actually how far going down. It's actually 20 going down. And the run is 1, 2, 3. So it's really 20 over 3. And they're all negative, and I've talked about this before. That's a up uphill, so that's positive. This is downhill, so it's negative. So that's why it's negative. And then I'm just going to divide these. Uh, 20 divided by 3. And I get 6.6. .6. Which of those answers is pretty close to that? It's this one right here. That's all there is to it. Rise over run. It looked a lot harder, it had a bunch of words, it had stuff like atmosphere and altitude, oh my goodness, all that stuff. It just came down to rise over run on my graph, that's all it was.